Hi, Kevin again with Filling the Pig. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create an investment portfolio in Yahoo Finance so you can track the performance of stocks and mutual funds. Oh, before I forget, I highly recommend you adjust the resolution for this video by selecting the gear icon in the lower right hand corner of the screen. Select the quality option and set it to 720p. This will provide the best video for this session. So you might be asking yourself why, you, why would you want to set up a portfolio in Yahoo Finance? If you're just starting out and considering investing in stocks or mutual funds, it can be rather intimidating to make that first purchase. Yahoo Finance provides a means of creating your own portfolio and tracking the stocks or mutual funds you're considering as an investment. It's a way of testing your assumptions on the investment before you actually spend the money. I call it creating a mock portfolio because you're going to track the stocks or mutual funds you're interested in before you actually purchase them. It's another way of getting started in feeling comfortable with investing. Here's what we're going to cover in this video today. First, we're going to go out to www.yahoo.com and we'll be selecting the finance menu option just under the Yahoo logo, which is going to take us to the Yahoo Finance homepage. From there, we'll be creating a portfolio under the My Portfolio option. We'll then add one stock and one mutual fund. Then we'll add quantities and costs to each stock and mutual fund, just like we're going to be purchasing it. Once that's established, then you can track your portfolio on a daily or weekly or monthly basis, however long you want to track the stock and mutual funds. For today's exercise, we're going to be using CenturyLink as the stock, ticker symbol CTL, and we'll be using T. Rowe Price's Dividend Growth Fund as the mutual fund. One important point before we get started, if you don't currently have a Yahoo ID, you'll need to set up a Yahoo ID before you can create the portfolio. We're going to be starting out at the Yahoo Finance homepage. You can see in the upper left hand corner here, it says Finance Home. And the first thing we need to do is to be able to build or create the portfolio and give it a name. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to My Portfolio and we're going to click on the My Portfolio tab. And Yahoo's going to bring up uh, the list of portfolios of which there's only one here right now. It's called My Watch List. My Watch List is the default default portfolio that Yahoo names and starts out with. For our purposes, I'm going to show you how to create a new one. So we're going to go up to create new portfolio, click on that. And the first thing we need to do is name the portfolio. So I'm going to name it Kevin. And then you get an option of selecting the currency that you're going to be using. And in this case, it'll be the United States and we'll hit save. And then the second thing we need to do now that we've named the portfolio up here in the upper left hand corner is we're going to add a stock and mutual fund. So we're going to go in the middle here where it says add symbol. And using this ticker symbol for CTL, I'm going to enter the ticker symbol and it brings up CenturyLink. So I'm going to select that. And what you're going to see is once you select it over on the left hand corner here, it's kind of dimmed out. It adds it to your portfolio. Then I'm going to add the mutual fund, which is PRDGX, which is T. Rowe Price, and it'll bring up T. Rowe Price. So I'm going to add that. And when I'm all done, I'm going to close this window. And so now what you've got is you've got your portfolio you've created, and you've got the mutual fund and the stock that we're going to be adding quantities and costs to. To add the costs and quantities to the mutual fund and the stock that we've loaded into the portfolio here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the My Holdings tab right here, and we're going to click on that. And you'll see down here in blue it says Add Lot. So we're Add a Lot. Um, and what it's going to give us is an option to put in the number of shares, the cost, and the trade date. So for our example here, um, I'm going to assume or pretend that I'm going to buy 100 shares or that I've purchased 100 shares of PDRGX and the cost basis of what I purchased it on for this example, I'm just going to say I purchased it for $50 so that we're going to show a loss here. And then we'll go to the trade date 
and we'll select the date we actually purchased the shares and I'll, I'm just going to say the 13th here and then you'll see over on the right here you have high limits low limits and notes um, it's where you can provide more information um, if you purchased uh, this mutual fund uh, the high limit and the low limit are uh, where you can put the prices um, of where you might sell this mutual fund or actually um, purchase more of the mutual fund. You can get alerts through uh, Yahoo Finance. That's one of the advantages of using this. Anyways, we've added our quantities and we've added our cost basis for PDRGX. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to do the same thing for CenturyLink. And in this case, I'm going to have 200 shares and I'm going to purchase it. The price right now is $22.99. I'm going to show a gain here. So I'm going to put in um, $15 per share and then we'll say we um, purchase these on July 5th. So once that's all done and you've got your information in there, go back to the summary here and you can see that we've got our mutual fund and stock prices in there and if you go back to holdings what this will provide you with is the information on how the stock is doing. Now the stock market is not open today so these values are as of last Friday and um, are representative of the closing price um, on Friday, the close of the stock market. So you can see here $40.92 for PDRG. Uh, the change was, it was up 0 0.20 on Friday. And then you can see the lot value is the value of this mutual fund based on the number of shares that you have purchased and the last price. And then over here where it says total change and total change percent, that's based on what you actually purchased the mutual fund for, which is $50 per share. So we've lost money in this situation or this example. If we go down to the bottom here, you'll see that you have the same information for CenturyLink, which is the stock. You've got the day change, and then you've got the total change of value based on, again, owning 200 shares and us purchasing it for $15 per share. So this is how you set up a simple uh, portfolio, investment portfolio using Yahoo Finance. In this case, we added the mutual fund and the um, stock. And you can see up here, it reports um, what the gain is for the day and the total dollar value and percentage for the total gain for the portfolio. And Yahoo Finance offers a lot of other options that I'm not going to show here today. I want to keep the video kind of short, but under the new view section here, you can actually select different fields like for market capitalization, for earnings per share, if you want to display more information within your portfolio. So once you build your portfolio, what's nice about it is if you come back tomorrow and you can go right to your portfolio and see exactly how your mutual fund or stock is, stock is performing on a daily basis once the stock market is opened or when it's closed. So that's how you build a quick investment portfolio using a mutual fund and a stock. I hope you find this useful and be sure to check out the other features here with Yahoo Finance. They've got um, quite an abundance of options for you to be able to manage your investments and be able to track how you're doing from an investment perspective.